three, two, one. What happens if a shape charge goes through your head? Or two heads. Or three heads. Or three heads. Okay, not those three heads. <laughs> well, welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. Now kith. Now kiss. If you guys can't tell, we're back here in Pennsylvania with Tread at Washington County Machine Guns. Today we're gonna be exploring shaped charges, which is surprisingly something we've never filmed yet. Yeah. So we're gonna be starting with some plastic 3D printed test shape charges and what sets these off, Tread? We're gonna be using electrical detonators. Okay. Uh, with an electrical blasting machine. Gotcha. And we're gonna be using RDX and Box C4. So we're gonna use this as a test to get some camera exposures. Today we are actually demoing a brand new camera, which is the TMX 7510, sent out by Vision Research. This is a beast of a camera. I thought the 2512 was fast. This is really fast. You said so it's like three times as fast? Three to four times as fast, but we're gonna have to sacrifice color to do so. Okay. So, but totally worth it in this case. Right. We're gonna thank Chris at Ballistic Dummy Lab for sending these out. These are all from him. Okay, well, thanks for having us out again, Tred. Hopefully Absolutely. we'll get some awesome explosive stuff and make some good use of the new camera. Yeah. It's like the highlight of my year. Yeah. So yeah. All right. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. Let's <laughs> out here with my scar buddy. Yeah. Scar buddies. <laughs> Maybe next year I'll never mind. No, 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 no. Don't you don't okay. you dare. All right, to kick off these episodes, we have a 3D printed standoff for a shape charge here. It's 0.3 pounds of RDX in it. And then we just have an electrical debt on top. And we'll go get to safety and Kay. we'll do this thing. Let's do it. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Three, two, one! <laughs> that was infinitely louder than I expected. RDX, baby. <laughs> What better way to compare these cameras than with a high explosive? Naturally. Let's check it out. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh, I forgot, man. In that pit with the yeah. three-sided wall. Oh. So tell me this doesn't look like a nuclear bomb. Look at all that air getting stacked up in front of the shockwave. So this is where this camera should come in. This is 100,000, this is almost 400,000 at the same resolution. Bad. But black and white, so a little give and okay. take. Imagine the red. Imagine the color. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Wow, that shot out of the bottom quick. It really did. Which you couldn't quite catch on that one. Wow, look how much light it's throwing off. There. Yeah. Just look at all that air getting thrown out. It looks like liquid. Underneath the actual charge, there's a dome type deal like this. Yeah. And that delay is it breaking that dome oh, down. It's when it's copper, it's liquefying it and inverting it before uh -huh. it goes. That plastic, it's probably just disintegrating. Turning it into other gas. Okay, as you guys can imagine, not cheap to do. No. So shout out to our sponsor, SCI.edu. We love them because this is kind of not even related to them and they still said, hey, you know what? Yeah. We want to support you guys. You want to get your start in gunsmithing. I really like the hydrographics just because I kind of wound up doing it. They have a, a whole course list. We'll have a link to them in the description below. Yeah. Hit them up, check them out. Go get smarter. So we're gonna do this again. Uh, I think you said you're gonna make some changes on cameras. Yep, we wanted a good enough exposure to see what it looks like around the explosion. But now that we've seen that, I wanna get that sucker dark. I wanna see those flame details. So okay. minimum exposures all the way around. We've also lowered the stand. You want your standoff distance to be twice what your shaped charge is. We were experimenting, that one was four times. So we've shortened it to where it's supposed to be. So this will essentially is for like maximum penetrating ability? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're hoping to actually see some damage uh, to the plate this time. And then it's the same thing. We've got 0.3 pounds of RDX in it. <laughs> Let's get the cameras cranked up and we'll see what happens. Let's do it. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Three, two, one! 
<laughs> it never gets old. <laughs> darker exposure, our lens are stopped way down. This is still 100,000. Okay, this camera's getting somewhere. Yeah. So this camera maxes out at 261 nanoseconds. We're down to 95 nanoseconds. 95 billionths of a second. Holy. And we stopped the lens way down, so this should be some delicious detail. What is that? It doesn't even look what? the same. What am I looking at right here? Whoa, what are those lines? What are we seeing? You okay. can see his electrical wire is getting vaporized right there. So we get so many microseconds of detonation and then that kicks off and then the jet comes out and just plummets and explodes. I can't wait to know how fast that's going. Should be able to calculate it pretty easily. These are things that like, humans aren't like no. supposed to see. This goes on in such a small fraction of time. The black and white makes it look eerie. Like this looks like old government footage of like distant bombs of, like, going off. Of like the Tsar Bomba. And it's almost at scale too, with the high speed. All right, so before we get on to the next one, this is a really thick, mild steel plate with no penetrator. Ooh. We still got, I don't know, what would you say that was? Quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch. Really? So no penetrator. And that was just gas? Just the heat and the air pressure. So that didn't have the... No copper, no, no nothing. nothing. Wow. wow. And that's what it did to mild steel. So and cool. this guy, we're going to put him in the same spot. <laughs> it's going to be the same 0.3 pounds of RDX. Every, nothing is changing except we're going to blast this. Oh, he's so done. <laughs> so there's our shaped charge. Versus powered, a dummy head. Powered by RDX. I think the head's gonna just explode out. Yeah. And just be the neck. Nice. Would be left. That'd be a good shot. Well, there's one way to find out. Let's blow it up. <laughs> Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Three, two, one! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh! Oh, Trent was right! I just realized walking in here, I never made a prediction. Oh yeah. That just destroyed the cranium. I, I feel like my gut instinct was all of this would disappear, but it did not have a penetrator in it. To be fair, it also was only a third pound instead of a full pound shape charge, which also exists. Yes. Oh, look on the bottom of them. Is there a hole? Anything? No. So it all got absorbed into the gel. Yeah, kind of into Down the spine a little bit. Right there. Painted your concrete again, yep. Tread. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah, you were due for your annual. We normally charge for that, but. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's got an abra. <laughs> Look, at his, did it blow out his eyes? <laughs> what? Yeah. You can see it burst down through his body and light him up. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's lighting up all his guts. <laughs> and there's all, he just, oh, he's yeah. done. Mm -hmm. That was just like when we put a quarter stick in a head. Yes. Very similar yeah. to that. Yep. Wow. Okay, so I wonder what extra detail we'll unlock with the TMX. What? What is happening in his body? Do you see all those like little tiny flashes and sparks going on? It's kind of crazy. It's pushing down with so much force and yet it didn't like flatten. I know. And here comes all the recompression of gas. That's cool. That's similar to when we split and hit the two Tannerite charges. Like they went into yeah. each other and you saw the defined lines. Yeah. It looks just like that. This camera unlocks just a whole other world. Yeah, that looks drastically different. Yeah. Like this is cool for the color and the blood and this is like, yeah. this is what happened. So this one didn't have a penetrator in it, but now we can do the three skulls going this way yeah. with the wine bottle. 
or it's actually absinthe bottle. So then we'll actually have a formed penetrator. Right. That looks like something out of the Last of Us game. Yes, yes. it's a clicker. Yes. <laughs> we have one pound of box C4 inside of a absinthe yeah. bottle. So the glass is really thick. We're used to using wine bottles, which work perfectly. But this is like two to three times the thickness of a wine bottle. So I'm not sure if it's better or worse. <laughs> so, it's, so still kind of an experimentation. It's got a great dimple. Uh, it's called a punt. A punt? The dimple is amazing on this bottle, which is why I picked it. It's like that deep. And that's what you want. That glass is going to liquefy and it's going to shoot it like a jet. We're going to catch that on super high yeah. speed. Oh, yeah. I think the first <laughs> one is just going to blow apart. I mean, it's, this one's just going to disappear. <laughs> okay. And then I think it's going to be a nice hole through this yeah. one and possibly through that one. It's got well, enough force to blow a hole all the way the over Watching the previous high speed, I think it's going to zip through and then they're going to start to do that. Okay. Like yeah, it, it moves yeah. fast. Have you ever been able to track uh, the feet per second on the punt? No. Okay. So this, this may be some um, pretty useful can information. We a, can we get a measurement of this exact width? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Let's get that and then we can calculate some stuff. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Three, two, one! Oh, Jesus! You guys good? Holy smokes! Oh man. Well, um... I feel like this wasn't here before. We may have underestimated that bit. Wow, okay. Um, where are the heads? Here's There's something. what's left of one. Here's two. Okay. Or that Good. might be two and three and one is just gone. Well, yeah, or that. A lot of blood this way. Most of a head this way. I don't see the puck part, but I mean, that's gotta be. Oh yeah, definitely. Because everything else that we've detonated was in the pit. That might be like half of one of the heads and so, it split it. I would say that's probably what's left of number one, okay. just given where we're at. I bet high speed will give us some clues. Yeah. Maybe we should glance at that. But that was, that was immense. Might have been a little much. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go see. It. Oh, 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 oh. Where's the... It went through all three, but it slowed down drastically. That last guy, it was in his head for a minute. It's no wonder we didn't find any <laughs> head pieces. <laughs> Jesus. Here comes all the concrete we busted off. So all of those heads got blown apart. Yep. It wasn't even close. No. That lens flare. That looks like an artillery shot. That's nuts. That's a lot of detail. Look at those areas that are still burning as it comes out. I'll be able to get an exit speed too. You're not finding a chunk of glass. It, no. It powderized. It turned that it back to sand. Or, yeah. Yeah. 617,000 frames per second. And you can still see the whole, whole array. Yeah. Whoa. What was that? Oh, I like how it like reignites on the skin. Okay, what was going on in the beginning? This should be a much better indicator of how these actually work because the bottle's inverted. Okay. Ignition. It's you can melting. see it moving in and out. Reshaping, oh. gets the jet, and you then... You got to see it happen right there. It like dimmed and then re... Yep. Okay, so watch the left side of his head as it's coming through. What was all that? <laughs> that's insane. I am so glad this was here because that's what I wanted. Yeah. That initial that was just, little... You couldn't see almost any of that yeah. on this camera. This was good to see the heads and this was good for the detonation. So these paired together is so good. The glass punt of this shape charge accelerated from a standstill to 30,000 feet per second in such a short duration of time that it reached a peak of nearly 70 million Gs, which is such an incomprehensibly fast change in velocity. After this, the three heads provide nearly 130,000 Gs of deceleration, bringing the shape charge down to nearly 2,800 feet per second, which is still faster than most bullets. So this is going to be kind of interesting because we're stepping the explosives way back, but this one is an actual industry used uh, for fracking oil wells. It has a copper lining in there, actual shaped charge with 
there's just tree leaves. Yeah, we falling. messed up that tree pretty good. <laughs> I think it's like point one pounds of RDX. And then there's a little bit of C4 in there just to help kick the whole thing off to an AR500 steel plate with the coating that, as you can see, we've tested it before. That was not a through and through shot though. That was just to rip the coating up. And then a torso. My prediction is it gets through the, the plate, it gets through the body, and we see a scorch spot on the back of the concrete. I think it gets through all the way. It just looks so small. It I really mean, is small. I don't think it's gonna make it through the plate. No? I don't know, I've never seen it hit armor steel plate before. I've also never seen a legit like manufacturer. Yeah. What do you think, Tread? Shape charge. I don't know. It's tricky, uh, right? It's AR500, which you know, surprisingly strong. I don't think it's been gonna penetrate. No? So you guys are on the same Ooh, team? Ooh, so I sided with the pro. <laughs> Dang it. All right. The two people with explosive licenses. We can come up with predictions, but you have the technology to come up with proof. This is true. So. Especially with the TMX camera. <laughs> yeah, All especially right. with that. Let's thing. wire this up. Fire on the hole. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I think I see a lot of bones. Oh, it got him. Yeah. It got him. I might've been right. Yeah. I think that went through. He's fracking fracked. Ooh, was I right? Two. Oh my goodness. Oh my. What? So I definitely see a whole. I Look, mean, it's obviously. liquid. Oh, no way. Oh, oh. oh. Tread, we busted your concrete. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, With that li So, wow. so copper's, copper's the secret to shape charges. So imagine if you had a one pound charge behind a copper disc. That would be gnarly. Wow. Dude. Hello. That's insane. I mean, it didn't even. No way. I was woefully wrong about that. Look at this, Bryce. So this is the back side of that plate, and there's nothing even flanged out. That means it didn't even think about slowing down. Yeah, it sheared it. That is damn near yeah, flush. It didn't, it didn't like crunch through it, it sheared. Oh my gosh. That's nuts. That looks like he got hit with like a 50 cal or something crazy. He's got smoke coming out of him. Oh my God. Dang. I've never seen the gel be this no. color. I'm, Chris is gonna love this, I feel yeah. like. So maybe someday we can explore how many AR500 plates stop a shape charge. I need to buy more of those. Yeah. I need to buy more of those. I feel like it's gonna be like five to 10 plates before that stops. All right, well that is one of two episodes that we've done here at Washington County Machine Guns, so make sure you subscribe because the yep. next episode we're moving on from shape charge to some thick and juicy debt cord. Yep. Debt cord is so fun. Yes, and it was fun even without the TMX 7510. Right. So with the 7510, it's gonna be even it's gonna more be fun. It's gonna be supreme. Because more frames is more fun. This is true. If you want to support us on Patreon or buy a shirt at Bunker Branding, both of those things support the channel. You get yourself some merch, you get some early content on Patreon, all that good stuff. Ad free, Ad -free uncensored, early, all the swear there's, words. There's tier subscriptions that you can wind up with free merch. This is true. You get shirts and sweatshirts sent to you for free, all sorts of goodies. So yeah. thanks for watching, and we'll blow up some more stuff in the next episode. Uh oh, I sense violence. <laughs> <laughs> that was a clean break. Nice. <laughs>